70s, the image of the cowboy was so glamorized by the colorful action of Wild West shows and the stories idolizing him in hundreds of dime novels, he began to believe in it himself. He'd swagger into town, twirling his pistols with great bravado. And on the range, he claimed he could shoot anything that flies and he could ride anything that walked. Well, I've got some actors who stake the same claim. They'll ride any animal that walks. Now, come on in, you guys, and prove it. Mr. Jamie Farr. Mr. Patricia McPherson. And Mr. Alan Thick. Well, we've got an interesting range of range life for you, a delightful but determined burrow, an awesome longhorn steer, and a shire horse that stands 17 and a half hands high. In this event, our stars will be racing against time as well as each other. And we'll start with Jamie Farr. Now, the first animal to ride for Jamie and everyone else is the donkey. You must ride around those bales of hay you see. And then bring the donkey back across the starting line. Now, Jamie will dismount and run to the Longhorn Steer. Now, he's a lot more difficult to ride. And these horns can hurt you as well. He can swing that head around and hit you right in the rib cage. Don't get that thing caught in your nose, Jamie. Come on, Jamie. Come on, Jamie. You have to get this big beast around one barrel before bringing him back. And any way you can works. Now on to the Shire horse. And getting on to him is the first problem because the saddle is over six foot above the ground. This horse is wide even to set on him. He weighs 1,740 pounds. Now, Jamie must head him for the barrel that's farthest away, but not that far, Jamie. He must go around that far barrel in any direction and then head down the line for home. <laughs> and Jamie comes in with a 221.3. Alan Thick. I'll be right for the little donkey, hopefully. Go, donkey. Come on. Come on, you silly ass. Come on, this way. Thank you. Hey! Oh. Yeah! Yes! Yeah. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Come on, you little burrito. Come on! 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 You got him. Oh, you got him. You got him going. We can do it. You don't want to be a sandwich tomorrow, do you? No. Yeah. Oh, we've done this. We've done this already. Come on, lunch. Let's go. Come on. Don't take him, guys. Pull him in. Come on. Yeah, we can walk. Uh -huh. We can walk. Bring him back. Bring Come him on. back across the finish line. He said any way we can, the... Alan says. Okay, He's gonna to lead the him across. Oh, oh, oh. Another big guy. Forget about the steer. I never liked the Anyway, we can do it. Come on. Come on. Go! Come on. 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 Here, he's into a canter or a lope. Western people. Yeah, around the last barrel and to the line. He's right. coming up good. Right. Time rolls in. Let's see what it looks like right now. I think Jamie's got him. Yes, he finishes with 228.3. So Jamie Farr is in the lead. Patricia McPherson. Right, and go. I think this is the fastest part.
of the finesse, she uses very light touch on the rein. A little leg action. She is off to a great start here. I think this is the fastest one, though, Patricia, and the easiest. Now the trouble really begins to go to the Longhorn Steer. Now there is really the beauty and the beast, if I ever saw it, right there. If you want a better deal, go see Cal. <laughs> on a Nasser, on a steer, go see Cal. Patricia, I believe in the halfway point, if we want to call it, or the two-thirds point, you probably are in the lead. All right. Well, she's taken right off. She comes across that line at a 209. Uh, looks like Patricia unofficially is our winner, but let's go to James Coburn and find out for sure. And our winner, who showed the most courage in the least time, 209, Patricia McPherson. Right on. Hey. Amanda Blake, if you get the award. Wow, that's wonderful.